Alright, so let's um Okay, so we're back to JLo. So JLo and Shakira, and then um I'll answer JLo and Shakira. For how long? Uh well, I, I just moved on. Um I really don't like to be on BTS, guys. Honestly, I don't, I don't even think I'm going to finish doing readings for them. <laughs> oh! Alright, so... No love lost between these two. They are both powerhouse women. Um, they, I mean, they more, they more or less get along. You're welcome, um, Cherry Paridra. They, they more or less get along. Um, uh, but it's like, it's like a work thing. They're not friends at all. Their fans are rabid. Are you still going to read on Beyonce and Jay? Yes, I am. I am. Um, at the beginning, I, at the beginning, I said that, um, that, uh, like, April 3rd in that Will Smith, Chris Rock video, for whatever reason, I felt the need to ask how did Beyonce feel about it, and at the very end, I said, oh, she's coming back, and it's gonna be amazing this year, and then, what, three months later, or two, two months, two, wait, two, yeah, two months later, she announces her project, so, yeah, I pick up on her very well, um, Sometimes and sometimes I even have dreams about her, so I don't know. Um, but yes, I will I will read on them. Um, but anyway, anyway, so they they get a, they get along. BTS and Blackpink stands. <laughs> they uh, J Lo and Shakira they get along, but it's all business. It's it's all business. They're not friends. I don't know if they pretend to be friends, but they ain't friends. It is all business. These two these two are about their coins, their coins. Okay. Um, and then I asked um, JLo how does she feel about Shakira it's whatever um, I, I feel like um, they they could have had like a like an eensy teensy little bit of friendship in the past but that's gone now it's absolutely gone <laughs> it's totally gone and when I asked Shakira how does she feel about JLo Shakira's like this bitch <laughs> JLo's a Leo, right? Shakira's like this bitch, really. Huge ego, absolutely huge ego. Huge ego, Shakira's not feeling her. They're not feeling each other on like a friend level. It's all business between them. Absolutely hilarious. Um, so your other question was um, about... Um, so A Rod, what are the current energies of A Rod and his new friend Catherine Padgett? Uh, uh, Robin, I'm surprised you didn't ask me if uh, about Benifer if they're married. <laughs> don't know about that. Don't don't know about that. I don't know. I always get negative energy from them, but then they release like all these loving photos and these marriage whatever. So I don't know what the hell is going on with them, but it's definitely publicity on JLo's side. But anyway, A Rod, A Rod and Catherine Paget. What's the energy between them? Very good. Very very good. I feel like um uh taking a benefit break <laughs> well that's good um, I feel like they're trying to fight against being outed to the public but they have they have great energy together actually very nice energy very beautiful energy very very beautiful beautiful they're gonna be in love soon very very beautiful energy beautiful um, let's let's take a quick peek Y'all, I was in and out of this live, but did Moko answer well? No, not yet. 
Did anyone ask about about it? He's 46 and she's 25. Well, you know, both adults. Um, both adults. say this but it's like <clears throat> um I don't know it's like do they keep renewing their PR contracts or some shit <laughs> because because it's like I mean at this point she she feel JLo feels like things are going great with him whereas he's sort of like nope nope and actually um I pick I picked up on him earlier where I saw that I don't think that they're going to be together for long, but I, I've been saying that since last year. Yeah, I've I've been saying this since last year, but I I don't I don't feel. I I I rarely get positive energy for that couple, very rarely. Um, It's, it's such a mistake to get married. Such a mistake to get married. She's really, she's really pushing for it. She's really pushing for it. She's, she's really pushing for it. If they do get married, if they do go through with it, he's, he's going to be so miserable. Because already his feelings for her are just, they're fading away. They're definitely fading away. Yeah, they're, they're fading away. He wants he wants to be he wants to be single. He wants to break up. He wants to be single and break up. His feelings are fading away. If he goes through with that marriage, he's a dumbass. Absolute dumbass. Yeah, she's still she's still sexually attracted to him. Um, she still wants to. She still she oh. Yeah, no, she's forcing it. She she wants him. He's a Leo too, right? He already is miserable. She doesn't love Bing. Yeah, she's she's really trying to force it. She's trying to force him to like just like pick a side, pick a side, buddy. Mistake, mistake. Um, and, and I saw that Britney Spears got married. Mistake for her. Mistake for her. He's gonna take all her money. Mistake. Why would she want to be in a loveless marriage? even with the prenup please he could put her under another conservative ship um, so Corey I have a, I have a video about Brittany it's a super super long video where I saw that if because I think I saw a potential miscarriage for her and also that if she does get married it's just it's gonna be a hot mess um, I thought Brittany and her husband signed a prenup there are ways you can get around them Let's look at Britney really quickly. Sad. It's sad. It's sad. 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 He's definitely in charge. She really, she really loves him. No, so there there are ways around a prenup. So for her, I mean, he's he's she doesn't she doesn't see it now. Um, yeah, I will save the life. Brittany Brittany doesn't see it now because she loves him, but he's very much similar to. Actually, he's is like because I saw in the video that he's similar to her father, but there's a different guy. Um, that she's known since she was a teenager who was taking advantage of her sexually he's more similar to that person so she for sure loves him she absolutely does but this is this is this is how this is this is what he's doing to her so he's he's controlling the purse strings he is 
Um, and for her, he he likes her. He does he does have feelings for her, but it's like he want he wants to be famous, and he's using his association with her to make his dreams come true. So he he does have feelings for her. There's no doubt about it. He does, but it's like he's he's a user. And then I asked about her money, and I was very optimistic when I saw this that she's going to remain financially independent. But then I saw love here. And then here, her fortune's turning into poverty. So he's going to get around that prenup. He's going to get around that prenup. <sighs> and like, I could, I could feel it. Like with Brittany, um, when I was, um, what was it? When I was uh, uploading that video, it was almost like I was called to do it. So I, I just had to do it right away. Like I actually heard it's Brittany bitch in my head the day that I recorded the video and uploaded it. Um, and, I, and I said that I felt that somebody from her team would watch that video um, and they would get an idea to try to help her, but she just, she's so in love, she can't, she can't see that he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, it's so sad. Well, someone was asking me to do a quick update about it, so I guess I'll, I'll update it. If you would like a personal reading from me, then please go to my website at www.terabymoko.com and click on the book a reading button from the homepage. From there, you will be redirected to my shop, which includes categories for career, future forecasts, general inquiries, love and relationships, personal growth, as well as options for expedited delivery. I have a spread for almost every occasion, but of course, love and relationships is the most popular with readings for your future partner, no contact, Will you ever find love? How does your crush feel? As well as sugar daddies. And if you do not feel comfortable purchasing from my website, then you can find me on Etsy under the same name, Tara by Moko, where I have the same exact readings that I have on my website. And for those of you who would like to learn how to read the tarot, then just visit my blog and there you will find a series called Learn Tarot With Me. There, I will provide definitions for the cards, as well as tips and tricks to help you become more intuitive with your tarot reading. All right. Thank you guys so much for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.